Bible, man. This thing here ain't just, this is a book of seeds. When Jesus spoke, he was in pure. When Jesus spoke at the creation, man, God spoke and light came out of darkness. That's why I love my man right there. He said, man, I don't care how dark you put me in. I'm going to be light anyway. You know, they told me years ago, what are you doing in the bio? I said, I don't know yet. I just met God. And I ain't got it all figured out yet. Well, it's too dark in the bio. And when they told me, I said, call me Blue Tip Ohio Matchstick. I'm going to light something up. Amen. If it's dark, you want to go to dark. You don't want to go to light. You want to go into the dark to chase it out. Amen. I don't know. I don't know. I'm too free.
can't go out there empty handed. You talk about heart. Eight one, I mean, Acts 1, 8 and 9. Thus said the Lord. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witness unto both in Jerusalem and in, in Judea and Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Now we're going to Luke 10 and 1. After these things, the Lord appointed other seventy also, and sent them two by two before his face into every city and place where he himself will come. Therefore said unto them, The harvest is truly great, but the labors are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he would send forth labors into the heart. I want to let you know that the harvest is right, but the labors are few. All right. The scripture said, pray ye. Pray ye that the Father of the Lord of harvest see ye forth labors. See ye forth labors do what? The priest of gospel. See ye forth labors do what? To help someone. Send ye forth labors to do what? To tell somebody about the goodness of the Lord. So make sure you are appointed by God when you go forth. Make sure you are equipped when you go out there into the harvest. Right. Because in the harvest, there are wolves out there in the harvest. Right. And if you are not equipped, those wolves will tear you up. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. So I just want to let you know, I don't want to stay up here too long, but I want to let you know that the harvest is right, but the labor is full. The harvest is right. The harvest is right, but we need some light to go into the vineyard of God. Oh, yeah. So if God see you, you go to the vineyard to tell somebody that Jesus loves you. God call you, go into the vineyard and tell them that Jesus is able to deliver them out of my place. Yeah. If God call you, go into the clubhouse and tell somebody. I know somebody don't believe in going to the clubhouse, but if you've been called by God. Hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Yeah. 
I want to talk about greater elevation, greater manifestation. All right. <laughs> greater elevation, greater manifestation. You know, in the days, and we living in the last days, in the, and God is getting ready to do some things for his people. He's getting ready to elevate us to another level. He's getting ready to manifest some things into our lives that we have never seen before. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into the heart of man what God has in store for his people. And you know, we're living in a time that the attack of the enemy is going to be greater than ever before on God's people. Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus comes that we might have life and that life more abundantly. And we must be careful in these last and evil times to guard our heart against evil spirits. Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against principalities, uh, powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. And we must guard our heart. We must guard our heart with the breastplate of righteousness and his sword of faith, which is the word of God. In the days like this, in the days like this, labels, labels are few. The harvest is plentiful, but the labels are few. And it's hard to find people that are serious about God's business. Amen. God is looking for a church within a church. Without a spot, no wrinkle. He said, upon this rock I build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against us. Greater elevation, greater manifestation. God is getting ready to do a new thing in our lives. He said that he'll make us the head and not the tail. Above only and not beneath. He said that we go in and come out and we'll be blessed. And everybody will see that the blessings of God is upon our lives. Oh, glory to God. God is getting ready to do a new thing. Amen. Amen. In this harvest time. Amen. All the seeds that we sown years ago, amen, and glory to God, and even for God, amen, amen, we're going to experience great joy, hallelujah, over life itself, glory to God, and where God has taken us, and he will bring us into the harvest, everything that the devil tried to steal from us, everything that the caterpillar and the locust tried to steal from us, God is going to give it to us 1,000 fold, he's going to bless us in our health. He's going to bless us in our going and our coming. He's going to bless us on our job. He's going to bless us everywhere we trade. Amen. He's going to bless us with money coming, checks in the mail. Amen. Divine transforms. Amen. A miracle and blessings. Amen. God is getting ready to do a new thing. But we got to be in position to not to miss our visitation. Amen. When the Lord visits upon us, God is getting ready to bless us. But we must be in a position, amen, for God to bless us. We must walk humbly before God. He that humble himself, glory to God, amen, shall be exalted. But he that, oh, that exalted himself, amen, shall be brought down, amen. I want to tell you that the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want him. He making us alive and green pastors. He leading us beside the sea of waters. He restored my soul. Oh, God, he leading me in the path of righteousness. For his name, say God. Yea, that I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thou rod and thou staff. Glory to God. They shall comfort me. Oh, glory. He'll make your enemies your footstool. Amen. He'll bless them that bless you. And curse them that curse you. Greater elevation. Greater manifestation. God is getting ready to do something in our lives. Huh? In the last days, huh? he's going to pour out his spirit upon all flesh. Huh? Your son and your daughter shall prophesy. Huh? Young men shall dream dreams. Huh? And young men shall have visions. Huh? Glory to God. Huh? Out the mouth of babes. Amen. Huh? They're going to be able to preach the word of God in these times. Amen. Huh? Don't be deceived by the devil. Amen. The very elect will be deceived. Huh? But God, your heart Study to show thyself approved.